couples, we've been working. On what, you say? We've been through five variations and we're still not happy. Rebranded as a Ford. That's what it is. Yeah, it is an Ecotech. <laughs> All the Silverados, the Rams, any one product I've never spent more than two, three days on. I'm going on three weeks with this and I don't know how many different setups but I want the perfect note so I'm not going to stop until it's perfect. Well we wouldn't stop there. So we started simple, we took the cats out, made new dumps to the first flanges, still a little too raspy so we threw some cats in and we couldn't get rid of this frequency, this resonance that just hung around, was still there, just would not go away no matter what we did, what we added, what we took. So we thought Go back to the drawing board. We got the fanciest little resonators you ever did see, custom made for this application. They, their, their sole purpose is to get rid of frequency and resonance and offbeat pulses. The problem, raspiness. The solution, our fan dangle resonators. They don't stop any flow, but they do cut out frequency. Then we figured out if we space them the exact same distance away from the turbos in the firing order, hit the resonators at the same time and end up just deadening it completely. So on to the next challenge. We made our own dies. So we went through, made our own dies and made everything press fit, direct factory fit to your mid pipe and your turbos. That means you get to keep your Baja mode. Kimba, put it in Baja. Put it in Baja mode. <laughs> so now that we're happy with it, you can have it. As you can see, we've gone through, we've thrown them in the bin. We've chucked tantrums, blood, sweat, and tears. We've kidnapped some <laughs> <laughs> This little ring right here is magic. You bolt it up and that's a stop as well. So you know when it's tight because that will be flush with the factory exhaust. I prefer these over the woven flexes because if you ever do scrape over anything, all it takes is for one of the strands on the normal ones to snap, break, whatever, and they just start fraying out from there. Not only that, like if anyone's seen any of them, they are all covered in mud. In my opinion, work better. They have a sleeve in a sleeve, so they flow better. And it's race car shit. Who doesn't want race car shit? Nobody wants to hear a TED talk on stainless. You want to hear it. I think it definitely needed the back pressure, but those, those new resis that we got made make all the difference. Because I tried it without the resis at all, and it just sounded the same as every other Raptor. Get these things made up, you know, all we had to do was, you know, heap of research and development and contact a company and do back and forth for a few months. But that's, that's it, that, that's it, simple. When you, when you go through and you spend so much time on something and Every time you do it, you're unhappy with it. You always get discouraged, but when you finally crack it and finally hear that note you've been looking for and you know that you can get, that's like, no matter how much time, effort, money you spend on it, that's always worth it. That feeling is what I'm chasing every single time. And that's why we build what we build, we do what we do, and we do the cars that other people tend to stray away from, or, you know, if it goes bad, you're up for a lot of money. Get that thrill of, nah, it's never been done before, let's do it. That's what I'm looking for. And... But we did it!
What's that you ask? When are they available? They're available right now. You can get them at meredithmetalworks.com, not .au, because we're worldwide.